Sports. Hello, my fellow Struck Game creators. Poncho here, and it's been about a week since I've shared my progress, so let's take a look at what I've been working on. I'm incorporating a purchase system that I will balance out, and you'll earn money by defeating enemies and treasure chests. That way, it incentivizes the player to actually fight instead of just run past everything. I love the new path system, it really gives good contrast to the ground texture. <laughs> So now I have enough points or money to afford the shield and the thought of this is to hopefully teach the player if you can't afford something just go fight more monsters and come back and buy what you want. In my previous video, this next portion of the forest was not finished yet. I've since worked hard and got it completely filled out the way I want. Since you can't open treasure chests in this game, I really wanted to give a unique but believable way to give the player health items. So I came up with this idea of picking fruit off a tree, and I really like it. So every time I introduce a new gameplay mechanic, like the shield power-up, I'm trying to give the player some sort of tutorial so they understand what, what it does. So for instance, the forest animals are helping me out, and it also is part of the story as to why your character can even understand them. So I thought this was a nice, unique way to get information out to the player. Coming up here, I went for an elevation change just to change up the scenery. And I really love the path system. This new path system just really helps put some contrast on the ground. So here's the first boss fight coming up, and if you watch my previous video, you can see that I've really changed it since then. Um, I wanted to put a lot more work into it, make it feel more atmospheric, make it feel more exciting, and to make sure to give the player a nice safe spot in case they die.
I designed this boss arena to look very pleasing and to also help incorporate the story. I'm trying to be very cautious about the difficulty because I don't want this to be an overly difficult game. I want there to be some challenge, but I want the majority of the people to be able to finish it. And I haven't done this yet, but this gate will have a point cost to enter. So in the only way to enter, you will have to beat the boss to have enough points to go in. That way you can't just cheat and run past the boss. So, to give the player that sense of progression, I'm just going to go with better equipment and some other gameplay mechanics. That way the player feels like they're getting stronger. So I'll be trying to give them plenty of opportunity to get better equipment by either clearing an area or purchasing it. I have a few more things to add to this cabin just for decoration, but this is just a way to help progress the story and to bring the character back around to the other side of the path that was blocked. So now they can progress to town. Okay, so we're finally leaving the forest, and this next area will be wide open because you've just spent the last 10, 15 minutes running through a linear corridor. So now we're gonna have a wide open space to explore, and I plan on having a town over here in the corner with people to interact with, and I think I'm gonna have up to two followers to help you in your journey and to make things more interesting. Here, I'm gonna put a lake theme and waterfall theme. And I will try to implement new game mechanics like ranged attacks just to make things more interesting. But here's just a sky view of everything I've done so far. It was a lot of work, especially since I'm still learning, but I've had a great time doing it. Thank you all for watching. I'm always checking the Discord, so please leave me any feedback, and I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.